The Staircase has just started airing on Sky and the TV crime drama recalls the real events following the death of Kathleen Peterson in 2001. Her husband Michael was convicted of murdering her in 2003 but the events that followed have fascinated readers across the world. Express.co.uk has all you need to know about what happened to Michael. Where is Michael Peterson now? Michael Peterson's case came into the public eye during the release of the documentary series, The Staircase, which followed the events from 2001 up until 2017. In 2019 Peterson released his own account of what happened in an independently published memoir, called Behind the Staircase. Now, the case is being explored again in a fictionalized version of events in the Sky series, The Staircase. On December 9, 2001, Peterson reported he had found his wife unconscious at their home in North Carolina. He suspected she had fallen down the stairs, which is where he found her. He became a prime suspect in her death as he was the only person at home at the time. He denied any involvement in her death and after one of the longest trials in the history of the state, a jury found Peterson guilty of murder. He was housed at the Nash Correctional Institution until his release on December 16, 2011. His defense counsel filed an appeal in 2006 but it was rejected. In February 2017, Peterson entered an Alford plea to voluntary manslaughter, which means a guilty plea due to sufficient evidence, but the defendant asserts their innocence. He was sentenced to a maximum of 86 months in prison, with credit for time previously served. Because he had already served more than 98 months by this point, he did not face additional prison time. According to People.com Peterson, now 78, lives in Durham, North Carolina. Peterson has since sold the house his wife died in and it was on the market for $1.9 million, according to ABC 11 News. In 2019 his defense attorney David Rudolph said Peterson was living in a house with no stairs. Speaking to Crime Con he said, he's living in Durham. I'm not sure why he's living in Durham, but he is. He's in a ground floor apartment with no stairs, that was a really important accommodation. AP reported his latest home was a 1,200 square foot, two bedroom condo. Since his release, he has written two books titled Behind the Staircase and Beyond the Staircase. He donates the proceeds from the sales of his book to charity.